Hey, yo, Apollo, you said there wasn't going to be no rematch. Yo, Adrian, we did it, didn't we? You're going to be a greasy, fast Italian monster. You're going to eat lightning. You're going to crap thunder. We're going to have to put you in a cage, kid. Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. Buttercup has married Humperdinck in little less than half an hour. What we must do is get in, rescue the princess, make our escape after I kill Count Rugen. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You never said anything about killing anyone. I still don't think it's right, killing an innocent girl. As you know, the concept of the suction pump is centuries old. Really, that's all this is, except instead of sucking water, I'm sucking life. I just sucked one year of your life away. I might one day go as high as five, but I really don't know what that will do to you, so let's just go with what we have. The king's stinking son fired me, and thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed! Remember this! Never forget this! When I found you, you were so slobbering drunk, you couldn't buy brandy! And you! Friendless, brainless, helpless, hopeless! Do you want me to put you back where you were? Unemployed in Greenland? It is no concern of mine whether or not your family has... What was it again? Um, food? Ha <laughs> ha! You really should have thought of that before you became peasants. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. I imagined in my fantasy, I suppose, that I would have a completely different life. Say, um, a construction worker or one of those guys that works on one of those high wire things with hard hat, you know, that kind of sweeping hat with the chaps. People don't like to have fire poked, poked in their noses. You know, when you get a cinder from a barbecue on the end of your nose and you, you make that face, that's not a good thing. And now you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, give me justice. But you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come here on the day my daughter is to be married and you ask me to do murder for money. I'm going to make him an offer he can refuse. This house is surrounded. I'm afraid I must not ask anyone to leave the room. No, I must ask nobody. No, I must ask everybody to... I must not ask anyone to leave the room. No one must be asked by me to leave the room. No, no one shall ask the room to leave, shall my someone be left. Nobody shall leave the room, shall I. Shall I leave the room? Everyone must leave the room, as it is, with them in it. Understand? Fool of a took. Next time throw yourself in and remove us of your stupidity. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he intends to. Not all treasure is silver and gold, mate. This is the day you will always remember as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. Why is the rum always gone? It was a headless horseman. No, no, I saw it. A horseman. A dead one. Headless. I saw him. The quest for the grail. It's not archaeology. It's a race against evil. If it is captured by the Nazis, 
The armies of darkness will march all over the face of the earth. You're very frank, Clarice. I think it should be quite something to know you in private life. Flapper and Thakatash! Look at the size of that house! jokes were bad. How about a magic trick? I'm going to make this pencil disappear. See, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke. Buenos noches, Senor Gato. My name is Slowpoke Rodriguez. Can you tell me where I can find my cousin? Senor Speedy Gonzalez? <gasps> Slowpoke! What are you doing here? That's a joke! I say that's a joke, son! Go! I say go away, boy! You bother me! Nice girl, but about as sharp as a sack of wet mice. That boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. She makes me feel funny. Like when we used to climb the rope in gym class. You cops sound too bright, are you? Okay, 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 okay. This is the best part. You take a tax deduction on interest payments that you don't even make. Am I an innovator? Am I a genius? What do you do when you see a whale, men? All you mast headers, now hear me. You are to look for the white whale. A whale as white, as big as a mountain of snow. But I was going to the Tashi station to pick up some power converters. What's that flashing? Well, why don't you outrun him? I thought you said this thing was fast. Don't you call me a mindless philosopher, you overweight blob of grease. Now get out of there before somebody sees you. Artu, where are you? Artu? Baldrick, you wouldn't recognize a subtle plan if it painted itself purple and danced naked on top of a harpsichord, singing Subtle Plans Are Here Again. Get to the chopper! Stick around. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. And I will not be referring to anyone's lifestyle. If you want to know what a moronic word lifestyle is, all you have to do is realize that in a technical sense, Attila the Hun had an active outdoor lifestyle. I will also not be seeing any cute things like, moi. If you want to live like a Republican, vote like a Democrat. You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me explain it to you. I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> Thanks, director. Yes. You bumped into the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite character. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs>